The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To graph the inequality, y is greater than negative 4x minus 3, we start by graphing what is called the boundary line. And in this case, that's y equals negative 4x minus 3. So setting up our chart, we have our x's, our y's, and negative 4x minus 3. Plugging our values of 1, 0, and negative 1 in for x we find that y equals negative 4 times 1 minus 3, or negative 7, negative 4 times 0 minus 3, or negative 3, and negative 4 times negative 1 minus 3, or positive 1. So plotting these points on a coordinate system, we have 1, negative 7, zero, negative 3, and negative 1, 1. Before graphing a line through these points, however, let's take a look back at the original inequality. Notice that y is greater than negative 4x minus 3. It is not equal to negative 4x minus 3. So the line y equals negative 4x minus 3 is not a part of the solution set. However, it does form a boundary on the graph. So to represent this idea, we draw a dotted line through our points. The solutions to this inequality will all lie on either one side or the other of this boundary line. So to determine where the solutions lie, we choose a test point to plug back into the original inequality from either side of the boundary line. Usually the easiest point to try is the origin. 0, 0. So plugging a 0, 0 back into the original inequality, we have 0 is greater than negative 4 times 0 minus 3, or 0 is greater than negative 3. Since 0 is greater than negative 3 is a true statement, that means the point 0, 0 is part of the solution set. And in fact, all points on this side of the boundary line will also be part of the solution set. So to represent this idea, we shade toward the point zero, zero. And we have our graph. 